open up your MTT. We're going to be working with inequalities now that have two variables. The first thing we're going to be working with is when we are given a replacement set, and we need to determine what our solution set is. So what we want to do here is do some substitution. So we're going to substitute 3 plus 4 is less than 0. 4 plus negative 6 is less than 0. 0 plus 3 is less than 0. And 5 plus negative 8 is less than 0. In looking at this, I can tell right away that this one is going to work and this one's going to work. So I'm going to solve negative 2 is less than 0, negative 3 is less than 0. Those are the only two that I need to show work for. The solution set is going to be 4, negative 6, and 5, negative 8. All right, let's do the next one. We're going to substitute in 8, is greater than 2 times 3. 8 is greater than 6. That's true. 7 is greater than 2 times 5. 7 is not greater than 10. Negative 2 is greater than 2 times 0. Negative 2 is not greater than 0. Negative 2 is greater than 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 is greater than negative 4. So that one works. So our solution set is going to be 3, 8, and negative 2, negative 2. Now we're going to start working with graphing inequalities. So this first one is x is less than 2. Anytime we have a inequality or an equation where the y is missing, we need our um, table. So we know in this one that x is 2 no matter what. So we fill in our 2's. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. We're going to go to our graph. We're going to go to 2, negative 2, 2, negative 1, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2. Now this is less than, so we're going to make it a broken line because it cannot include 2. And the numbers that are less than 2 are on this side of the graph. So we're going to go ahead and shade that side of the graph. Now your shading is going to look a little bit better because you'll be shading it with pencil. The next equation to graph, we need to solve for y. So we're going to go ahead and zero pair out our 2x. This is going to be y is less than or equal to 2x plus 4. We find our starting point, which is going to be 0, 4. And then we're going to use our slope, which is 2 over 1, to get our 5 points. Now once we have our five points, we have to look at the inequality. The inequality is less than or equal to. So that means because it is equal to, we're going to have a solid line. And less than are going to be all the values below that line. Now you want to make sure on your graph that you're graphing and covering the entire space of your graph that is less than. With our y, we're going to go ahead and change this so that we can graph it. So we're going to do y is greater than 1 over 1x plus 0. We're going to find our starting point, which is origin. Use our slope, up one to the right one, up one to the left one. Now we're going to notice that this is greater than, so that means that this is going to be a broken line all the way across our graph. And y values are greater than, so it's going to be all the y's that are above 
that line. If you're not sure, you can always pick a point. So for example, I can pick a point here, which would be negative 2, 3, negative 2, 3, and I can put that in, negative 2 and 3, and 3 is greater than negative 2, so I know that I have the correct side of the line and graph shaded. Alright, so now let's go ahead and solve for y. So we're going to zero pair out the 4x. 2y is greater than or equal to 4x plus 12. Divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. y is going to be greater than or equal to 2x plus 6. We're going to find our starting point. 0, 6. We're going to use our slope. 2 over 1. We're going to get our points. We're going to notice that this is greater than or equal to, which means that line is going to be solid. And greater than means it's going to be all the y values that are above that line. Now I can also check by using the origin. If I put in, looking at this point right here, which is not on the graph, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the put that in. I'm going to put in 2 times 0 minus 4 times 0. Again, that's my ordered pair, 0, 0, is greater than or equal to 12. Now that one should not work because it's not on the side of the graph that I have shaded. And sure enough, 0 is not greater than or equal to 12, so I know I have correct side shaded. So you can either check a point on the side that's shaded to make sure that it works or you can check a point, usually the origin, to make sure that it doesn't work if it's on the side that's not shaded. Alright, problem number two, seven, is the word problem. Rita plans to spend at most $180 on a new wardrobe. So because we know it's at most $180, we know that it has to be less than or equal to $180. The skirt she wants to buy costs $40, so the $40 per skirt plus $20 for each blouse, and we're going to write an inequality for that, so there's our inequality, and then we're going to check, can she buy four of each? And so we're going to go ahead and substitute in 4, 4 is our ordered pair. We're going to do 40 times 4 plus 20 times 4 using our ordered pair to see if that's going to be less than or equal to 180. So we have 160 plus 80, which is going to be 240. That is not less than 180, so no, she cannot purchase four of each. Last graph that we're going to do, we need to solve. So first of all, we're going to add a line and change the sign, and then we're going to rainbow. So we're going to do negative 2 times x plus negative y. It's less than or equal to 4. Rainbow negative 2x plus 2y, hate to hate is less than or equal to 4. We're going to zero pair out the 2x and we're going to get 2y is less than or equal to 2x plus 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. y is less than or equal to x plus 2. We have our starting point, 0, 2, and our slope is 1 over 1, and we have our line. We need to go look at the inequality. It's less than or equal to, which means our line is going to be solid, and y is going to be less than the y's on the line, so that's going to be all the values of y that are below that line.